With Asheville booming as a tourist destination, some locals are using their homes as an extra source of income. But not everyone's on board with that idea. Tonight, about 200 people showed up to express their opinions to Asheville City Council at the U.S. Cellular Center. News 13's Aaron Adelson, that's where he joins us with a live update. How many people in Asheville actually rent out their homes, Aaron? Larry, right now on the website Airbnb, there are 866 rentals posted from Asheville. That's more than Charlotte and Raleigh combined. They had a ball and I had a ball hearing about it. It was a lot of fun. Last fall, Ann McNally started renting out rooms from her house. It's a double bed. She charges $91 a night for this room and hooks people with a homemade breakfast. Renters order off a menu. It's a treat. McNally moved okay. to the area almost three years ago. She left Virginia to pursue her true passion, art. I really thought that um, I would be successful as I was in Virginia with painting, selling paintings. And, and that hasn't been true. And so it really my income took a nosedive when I moved here. She says she already has 15 nights booked in April. McNally's always home when she rents rooms out. If you are in favor of some iteration of short-term rentals, please raise your hand. McNally has her hand up. She was one of the roughly 200 people in the crowd. Linda Baker did not raise her hand. Her neighbor rents out her house. You don't feel safe. No, it totally messes up the whole feeling of the neighborhood. It destroys it. Baker wants short-term rentals banned. Most opponents admit too many people are doing it for it to go away. Yeah. They come from all over the world, all over the United States so far. And city council did not take any action tonight. They'll follow up and discuss this issue later on. Coming up tonight at 11, we'll tell you what the Asheville Bed and Breakfast Association president has to say about this issue. We're live in downtown Asheville, Aaron Adelson, News 13.